Anthony Jones here with Brigade Boats, and in this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of this 1436 project that we recently completed. This was actually a collaborative project between myself and Brigade Boats and Nate at Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors. We actually built this boat out of Nate's shop here in Illinois, and I greatly appreciate his contribution, hard work, and effort towards creating this project with myself and allowing me to invade his space to build this boat out. Without further ado, let's get to it and let's do a walkthrough of this project. All right, cousins, here we are. Illinois, a little bit nipply up here. Tin Can Crew, Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors. This is where all the magic happens. The customer is from Ohio. And as time went on, it just made sense for him to drive the boat over from Ohio to Illinois and me to come up from Georgia to Illinois. I was already coming up here for some other stuff. And the timing just fell into place for Nate and I to do this build together. So thanks again, Nate. So let's walk you through everything that went in this boat. And I think we're just going to start at the back and work our way forward. Probably the first thing you're going to notice hanging off the back of this thing is ye old shallow water anchor made by Roy's shallow water anchors available on tinyboatnation.net. Now, this is the larger version. They offer two sizes. This is the bigger one. I believe this gets eight foot depth. One of the cool things we did was make a mount for this that was custom fabbed in-house by Nate. So let's check that out. Because the transom on this 1436 is really thin, this is what Nate came up with. And this plate goes down, ties into the decking and framing, and then overlaps the transom and just gives you some meat to bolt that shallow water anchor to and then the cool thing about it is that bracket actually bolts through the transom and then you're able to bolt the shallow water anchor onto the bracket Roy's actually offers a bolt-on and a clamp-on for the shallow water anchor this is the clamp-on and there's some holes drilled in this bracket to recess the bolts into it so it locks into place and because it's clamp on, customer can remove it as needed. Let's take a look in this back hatch and check out all the juice. Now back here, we've got, of course, all the custom lids made in-house, available on tinyboatnation.net. We are running Amped Outdoors lithium batteries. Now this is a pond boat, guys. At some point, he may put a small outboard on here. For right now, there is no outboard in the picture, and he may even run an e-propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus on here at some point. But nonetheless, guys, Amped Outdoors Lithiums, this is the 24 volt, 50 amp hour over here. Of course, you've got the circuit breaker. The 24 volt feeds up front to the trolling motor. You've got the 12 volt, 60 amp hour, and this feeds around into the switch panel for all the onboard electronics, and we'll work our way that way. Um, back here, of course, new paint, new turf, custom battery trays, and tie downs. There's some LED lighting in here. Uh, you've got your bilge pump. On the transom, we did add this and reskinned. On the motor mount, we added some eye bolts, retractable boat buckle transom straps, and then we adjusted the bunks accordingly. They did stick out a lot further because he got the boat and then got the trailer afterwards. Gator skins on the corners, new cleats, and you got your rear stern light. Moving on, we've got where the rear bench used to be. We gutted the foam. And we did, we did retain some of the foam on the sides. So there is a foam core still in the middle and along the sides, but we cut out the center of the foam and then had these drop-in boxes tigged out. And you can see there's an angle on the side, contours the side of the boat. They've got the anti-flood. Actually, let's just turn on the hatch lights. Let there be light. So you can see we did hydro turf in the bottom. You've got the anti-flood, so water goes in the tracks and drains through to the bottom of the boat. All these latches are locking, and we walk around. This side over here just mirrors what I showed you on that side. So you've got two of these, nice spot for tackle storage and keeping all of your goodies dry. Now we move on to the cockpit. One of the main things that I wanted to do when we designed this boat was have my switch panel a specific way. So what we did here was we built a recess mount into the wall, and then I custom cut out this whole panel 
and we sent it off to powder coat and it turned out really really nice let me turn these lights off and give you a more up close and personal shot so that's it again all this was cut by hand and we built this wall and welded in the surround painted it turfed over it i like the contrast in the colors and how the light grays and dark grays and blacks and reds and greens and everything just kind of ties together um, over here you've got battery kill switch so that kills the accessory battery um, you've got usb volt is on a switch you could charge a phone in here if you wanted to also gives you your volt reading you've got your uh, cockpit lights and you've got your deck lights You've got your hatch lights, rear bilge, nav light, that's for the front and the back. And then you've got over here white and green LEDs. And what those are, exterior flashlight, 12 foot LEDs. I'll get back to that towards the end of the video. And then you've got all the wiring leading into a negative bus, positive fuse block terminal combo. And again, super proud of that. That's one of the things we wanted to do, one of the details that I wanted in this boat. Another thing that I did in here was cut this panel. And we did some custom graphics from 400 Inc. Thank you, Carrie. This uh, boat was actually built in memory of Tim. He tragically passed away on the job, accident. One of his really close friends acquired this boat. This was Tim's boat, and we built it out in his memory. So that was really something that I wanted to do inside the cockpit to kind of show off the meaning behind this boat build. And then on this side, Nate added the TV Nation Outdoors logo, custom router, routered in to that panel. And so a lot going on in the cockpit that just kind of sets this thing apart between the switch panel and the turf. And then, of course, the memorial to Tim. All right, moving forward, this was the location of the original middle bench. We popped the top, pulled the foam core for the most part, added some foam back in the bottoms and some sheet foam on the sides, and then dropped in a live well tub. Now, we're not using this as a live well. This is actually a cooler. So he could put his fish in here. The guy that owns this boat now really likes the crappie fish, and so he wanted a big cooler. So that's what he got. Now, he also wanted an area to put snacks and food and drinks. So this actually holds a 12-pack. And he could keep his drinks in here and throw his fish in the other cooler. And uh, if he wants to just pull this out and take it out of the boat completely, he could just rock this as an actual cooler. Just something that we decided to do, kind of thinking outside the box. And then this is notched for the latch to actually still lock and lock underneath that track. Now I forgot to mention, and you can see it, this entire boat is decked out in hydro turf. Now this is the routered hydro turf. This is camo with the gray grooved lines inset into it. And then inside of the hatches, we did go with just solid camo hydro turf just to kind of offset it. Now up front, this is completely open. Remember the middle bench ended here. Now under here is full storage. And on this side over here, he's got his, his rear pole light and his front nav light. Of course, you could see the drainage for the anti-flood on the tracks. And then one of the cool things we did over here was built an elevated tray to hold a cell phone and then you've got a USB, and all you do is touch it, and it comes on. You could charge your phone out of the water, out of the sun, on an elevated tray. Again, just thinking outside the box. And, of course, you got LED lighting. He's got his trolling motor wire up under there, connected in, and then it feeds through the deck. He's got a seat pedestal here. A seat pedestal here, and then I forgot to mention seat pedestal mount here as well. And this side just mirrors the other side. 
And if the trolling motor's down, um, he could access stuff from this side. We did not put a divider in. So it's just full open storage all throughout. Onto the trolling motor, this is a brand new motor guide. This is 70 pound thrust. This is a hand controlled trolling motor. That's what he wanted. He wants to be able to sit up here on the front of the boat, cruise around with a hand control and jig for crappie. Now, we mounted it on one of Nate's trolling motor mounts. See if I could slide around to kind of show you. Now this mounts to the deck and hits some framing and uh, it is adjustable. These are available on the site, tbnation.net. And this is a new part. This is a prototype. This is called the Cousin Caddy. Now, this mounts to the trolling motor. You can hold a drink, pliers, throw some jigs, some chatterbaits, or fishing lures on there on the side. And uh, you could even mount this inside the cockpit walls if you wanted to. That's something new, and it's going to be up on the site and available as well. And uh, then we went with a Garmin. This is the 93 SV on a ram mount. Up front, we built a new nose cap and uh, hydro turfed it, a little bit of gator skin action. You got your front nav light. Beyond that, that's pretty much it. In the build, beyond vinyl graphics and exterior LED lighting. So let me show you that. All new two-tone vinyl graphics cut by 400 ink. Got all the companies involved, Brigade, TB Nation, and of course, we custom designed this logo in memory of Tim. And then you've got your LEDs up underneath. We've got white and green. These are the flashlights, and they are super, super awesome, guys. So let me show you what they look like at night. All right, let's hit some of these lights. We got turn off the hatch lights, turn on the cockpit, turn on the deck. Let's start with the green. And as you can see, this thing lights up like a UFO. We'll hit the white. And there's your white. Now, um, flashlight makes an RGB that can change colors. You run it on an app on your phone. My customer wanted to keep it simple and um, wanted to just run two colors on two switches. So that's what we did. You could also run both at the same time. And that just gives you like this ultra high beam of green, white light. And I mean, it lights up everything. Look at that. Really, really cool, guys. We are especially proud of this one. Again, I want to thank Nate, Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors. All the guys in the shop for allowing me to come up here, interrupt their daily grind of me over here in the corner working on this boat while they're out here building all these amazing boats in the back. It's definitely a fun project, and uh, I think we nailed it, man. I really, really am proud of this one, and especially the meaning behind it. This boat is really special to my customer, um, given the circumstances, and I wanted to make everybody proud, and I think we did that. So... Love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you guys think of this build. There's going to be more videos on this boat up on my channel if they're not already up there. Full build video on this boat as well as the flashlight step-by-step -step installation. Me and Nate tag team that one. We'll catch you on the next one, cousins.